Hello, my name is Steve Prince and I'm a visiting artist here at William & Mary. I'm working on a special project um, commemorating three uh, women that were the first uh, graduates here in um, 1967, but actually graduated in 1971. Um, basically what I did was I facilitated a class and working with about 12 students and we created a mixed media piece that is a combination of um, acrylic painting, um, woodcut, and bronze casting. And I created these different elements um, to work with the students so that we can create an image that would speak about the connections of one generation to another and how we can utilize um, the artistic process to process what the institution is going through um, in terms of its connection to slavery, its connection to, the, to some of the atrocities that circulating around the Native American. And I wanted to make sure that we created a piece that spoke to all those different levels. So I created this image um, that I'm tentatively calling it right now, Lemonade, um, a picture of America. And in the image, um, I've created several symbolic uh, constructions inside of it. It's broken into three different pieces. On the right side, I, can, I call that side the Sankofa side. And that side is the idea of Sankofa comes from Africa and it comes out of Ghana and it's a, a con bird that means to look into one's past in order to move forward. And the right side of the composition towards the top you'll note that there's a window shape, and that's the window that's on the, on the Wren building. I took that motif and put it in there because that's a motif that's repeated throughout the campus. But I also noted in it that it looks very much like a slave ship. So I, I placed bodies within it to symbolize that idea of slavery, but the bodies are actually blue. And that also loses this idea that, if you want to think about where the blues come from, the blues come out of that experience it comes through the filter of the spirituals which was in the fields and gets translated into that musical idiom that we know of in the American context. The lemons falling from the sky which is alluding to the lemon project that the institution has been involved with for a few years and I put that and I use that idea as they're falling from the sky it's like what do we do with these lemons? What do we do with these harsh conditions? And if you think about the African American experience it has been a beautiful one that we've been able to take those lemons and we're able to make lemonade out of it. If you think about what the lemonade is, it's what, what we have in terms of our musical forms, what we have in terms of our writing, what we have in terms of dance, and all kinds of different attributes um, that, are, that are embedded within the American psyche, or American culture, a lot of it has come through the African American experience. And then as you look down, there's a woman who's on the, on the washer line, and it alludes to those people who had to work tirelessly for many hours uh, washing clothes, and wash many of the clothes of the students here at this institution. But I purposely played, created them red, which alludes to the blood stains. The blood stains of, again, of the past hurts and the past pain of this nation and also that else has affected this institution. And then down below I show the fields, which is a double play between the fields and um, the uh, and American flag. As you can see, the flag is going back, which ties into the series of bodies within the slave ship, which ties into the three stars in the sky. And I created them there because they allude to the Trinity, and which is a recurring motif throughout the entire composition, which also alludes to the three women. The lemons falling from the sky, the clothesline, the field, the woman working with the hoe, but the reflection of a shadow on the ground as she's carrying a cross. So it alludes to our sacrifice. It alludes to the pain that she went through in order to make a way for other people to follow her. So this is a piece that begins to speak of the ancestors, but at the bottom of the compositional space is a woman who's in the midst of a praise dance as her arms raise up beside her and she's almost eliminated like a bird as she's about to take flight. But I created a white circle around her body which alludes to the Holy Spirit and a spirit that emanates around her and within her and out through her to her community. In the middle of the compositional space, I created a, a, a repeat pattern or tessellation in the background and is a pattern called um, hourglass. And it's believed that it was utilized by slaves and abolitionists to help them escape from the south to the north and they utilized this by putting this on quilts and they would hang them out. And it was a secret code system for slaves navigating to the north to let them know when they can go, where places were safe, where they can rest their head, so forth and so on. I know that that's a history is somewhat contested, but I'm not worried about what is contested. That's the story I'm going to use and I'm putting that into this piece. And it's the truth that's for this image. Because it was time for those women to enter into this institution. It was time for this institution to break from its segregationist past. It was time for the change in the building of cultures to come into this institution. And that's why I have them boldly pushing out away from the red and white field 
with the black board, which is utilized with a woodcut that I have them coming projecting forward as the entry into the institution. On the left side of the compositional space, I use an idea which is called the palimpsest. By definition, a palimpsest is like a piece of parchment that has been written on and erased and written on and erased over and over again. And at the time that erasing, you start to see some of the letters and layer, letters layered on top of other letters, and then you get this kind of richness of a tapestry, very much like graffiti. So I created buildings and structures that allude to New York and California, and different parts of California, like Los Angeles and uh, St. Louis and Washington, D.C., and there's building structures and buildings that are also like the Wren Building, which is also right to the left of the woman's uh, shoulder um, that I placed in there as well. It's about all these different places where people have come from to come to this space to seek our higher education. But as you move down the composition space, I created three profiles of three women, and the three women are superimposed on top of each other as to blend one to the other. And then out of the mouth of one of the characters is this white spirit form that's emanating out, which alludes to the Holy Spirit. And it has a spirit of love, which is the heart just on the, on the course of the body. And then down the bluesman or the jazzman plays this horn and he has a white handkerchief in his hand. And in the New Orleans context, the white handkerchief is a symbol again of the Holy Spirit. As dancers would take it and wield it and shake it in the air as, as to allude to this idea of a bird in flight. All those elements come together to create this piece, which I, again I call Lemonade, a uh, picture of America. Across the bottom of the piece will be a series of masks, and the masks were created by the different students that were participating in the three weeks on class. Each student was paired with another person that they did not know, and they were, they were challenged to take the gene look at their genealogical past and were to mesh their genealogical past with the past of the other person and create a new face, a new creation, a new body. And that's what that, those bronze masks were on base to begin to represent. So I took them through the whole process of the Lost Wax system or CF Perdue or Sinceris in, in Latin and, and from taking a piece of wax that they've crafted into their, their work of art that's created all the symbols of that past and then they melted it together and we burned that wax out of a mold, melted metal down at 2,000 degrees and poured it back into that mold and now they have this new creation, this new creature that went from wax to this more permanent material, which is bronze. And again, it's an allusion to those ancestors, those who came before us, who figured out how to craft this world, who figured out how to take the lemons and make lemonade.